Hey, what's going on guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to two different locations over in Solingen, Germany, which is in northwestern Germany, and then over here in the United States, right about in the center of the United States, in eastern Wichita, Kansas. At both locations, 72 hours apart, it appears the same large fiery object, and what you're about to see is not just some ordinary fireball or, or space debris re-entering the atmosphere. This is something very unique that was witnessed by three different people within 72 hours. I'll be back and share the video footage with you guys here in just a moment. But again, the locations are nearly 5,000 miles apart. I'm not implying that this is the flight path of these objects you're about to see. I think it's the same object as you guys will see in this video, but it's just viewed on different sides of planet Earth. Coming over here to the website, quick look at the, the moon for tonight. Tonight's the, the historic full moon. Moon, blood moon so weather permitting if it's not cloudy make sure you guys check out the the historic moon tonight beginning at around 11 p.m. looking at the Schumann resonance you can see a little bit of activity in the last 24 hours but but nothing major a couple of small spikes I want to take you guys over here to the Yellowstone super volcano caldera we're going back two days ago to the 16th and you can see there was some pretty intense earthquake activity near the center of Yellowstone Lake showing up on the the little west thumb seismograph and then there was some earthquake activity over here at Denny Creek and the west boundary. Not sure what's going on. Today's seismographs, we come over here and we choose the 18th generate report. You'll see that the earthquakes have since subsided or the earthquake activity, at least in that area. Got a little bit of magma intrusion, but all in all, pretty quiet over at the supervolcano Caldera. I want to take you guys now to Germany. We're going to start in Solingen, Germany, which is right over here in West North West Germany. What you're about to see were witnessed by two different people from the same general location in, in Solingen on the 14th of November. Not exactly sure the time. Obviously, it was after dark, but this object you're looking at here is moving through the sky, and it's a very long ways away from the viewer who has his camera on full zoom zooming in on this object that looks like a fiery yellow every once in a while you'll see a dark orange color appear on this object almost looks like a small sun just remember the color because you're going to see this again over in wichita kansas and this thing is behaving very strangely it appears lasts for about four minutes like these people over here in germany saw and then it just disappeared again as i stated at the beginning of the video this is no ordinary fireball this thing is quite quite large, does not have an apparent tail over here in Germany. Moving fairly quickly through the sky, what you're looking at here in the foreground, that's clearly a tree and a timber line off in the distance, well away from the viewer. The viewer said there were no trees or, or anything obstructing their view of this object. It's just way off in the distance. They were heavily zoomed in, and this thing was fairly low on the horizon, as you can clearly see here. There's trees in the way of this object that, that it looks like a round mini sun almost doesn't appear to have a tail but then again our view is kind of obstructed by by trees and branches there that are quite a ways away I'm talking several miles away but this thing was very obvious probably viewed by by more than one person I checked over at the American Meteor Society and there were no fireball reports for the night of November 14th of 2021 you're going to see another video Video that's quite exceptional out of Wichita, Kansas, much like this video, a very obvious light in the sky. And there were also no reports on the event that you're about to see at the American Meteor Society from Wichita. And this thing was very obvious that it appeared to have a tail. But the odd thing of it was it wasn't moving through the sky, or if it was moving, it was moving very slowly and then just vanished. It's unbelievable footage. This is incredible in its own way. Something large that looks like a, a small sun moving through the sky of Germany. And another person in this area saw what appears to be the same exact object. And this is the second eyewitness out of Germany from the same general location, Solingen, Germany, same night, the 14th of November. Here's the same object, a different camera, and a slightly different location. Still in Germany, still in the same town, but another person happened to notice it and capture it on video as well. So I'm wondering if other people probably saw this thing. 
I mean, if you were outside, clearly hard to miss. Here they are side by side. First video on the left. Second video you're watching right now that was filmed by Mark on the right. Clearly the same object. And again, viewed on the same night, November 14th. I'm not exactly sure of the time, though. But this is very interesting because you're going to see something over in North America that resembles the same thing. A strange orange-yellow object in the sky that just appeared out of nowhere and then disappears, just vanishes into thin air. But you can see on this video, it looks like there's something attached to this large orange object, whatever it is. And the first viewer, Emil, said that he thought this thing looked like it had some sort of a cage or some sort of large apparatus surrounding the object. But again, it's difficult to tell because it was so far away. And this viewer here, Mark, was highly zoomed in, just like Emil was. And this object was viewed going through the skies of Germany on November 14th of 2021. Very mysterious object. I'm going to take you guys now over to Wichita, Kansas. And the video footage you're about to see was from November 17th of 2021, literally less than 24 hours ago. And here's how I have it formatted. The top part of this video is the original distance unzoomed. The bottom part is me zooming in on the video that was shared with me by Ramon from November 17th of 2021 in the nighttime sky. I'm waiting to hear on exactly what time this object was moving through the sky. And really, it doesn't appear to be moving through the sky, although it has the appearance of a long tail. And you're going to see what looks like every once in a while debris come off the backside of this thing. I mean, this is truly remarkable remarkable in the nighttime sky and again there were no reports over at the American Meteor Society and a couple of times I zoom in on this object and it has about the same color of orangish gold yellow right there you just saw a glimpse of it that we saw over in Germany this over here on the right hand side is a telephone pole and an outside light or a street light this is an object way off in the distance again, like the viewers in Germany saw, an object that was several miles away. This too is several miles away, but you can see what appears to be a tail behind this thing, whereas the object in Germany was so far away, you weren't able to see a tail, even if there was one. But it looked like a large yellowish-orange object in the nighttime sky. And this one, too, you're going to see here in just a second, has a yellowish-orange appeal to it. Unbelievable. I think these people saw the same thing on a different night in the nighttime sky. And I pause it here coming up in just a second, and you're going to see that very familiar color that we saw in the videos right there. See that color? That's the same color as the object over in Germany. There's the original up here at the top, and I'm just simply zoomed in down here at the bottom. So what in the world are people seeing in the nighttime sky? This video is about four minutes long. All I do is simply zoom in, and this thing really stays in the same general location. It's not like it's moving very fast, even if moving at all. He was kind of shocked when he was watching this thing, Ramon, because it just disappears here in just a second and vanishes into the night sky about as quickly as it appeared. And coming up right here after about three minutes and 55 seconds, you're going to... And coming up right here after about three minutes and 50 seconds, this thing just vanishes. Watch this. Just disappears. And you'll hear him say, wow. Wow. That's ghost. See how it just disappeared? Just vanished into the night sky. I'm going to take you up to a location where I zoom in and I enhance the video footage that was shared with me by Ramon, and you can see that same color that we saw over in Germany. I'm wondering if this is the same object, but what is it? It's not, like I said, a typical fireball. This thing is kind of staying in the same exact location, maybe moving ever so slightly to the left. And it's got that familiar yellow gold color that we just saw over in uh, Germany. So don't know, guys, I found that highly coincidental that within 72 hours, three people, two people on opposite sides of the earth, none of these people know each other, appear to have seen something very mysterious in the skies above planet Earth. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.